Hi, this is Dee with CrochetTalk.com. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this candle cover. What you will need is a candle. So you'll need the long candle. This one is this size. I found this at Walmart. And then you'll need some scissors. A stitch marker, a size eye hook, some of these small rubber bands or ponytail holders, they are the smaller ones. Those can be found even at the dollar store sometimes in packets um, around Christmas time or Walmart or any store that you want to go to. And then one ball of the sugar and cream. Okay, so what you will need to do is do a magic circle. If you don't know how to do a magic circle, I do have another video. If you want to stop, pause, and rewind, I'll show you again here what I do for my magic circle, magic ring, or um, magic loop. I grab it, the tail here between my fingers. I wrap this around my two fingers here. I bring it up, cross it over, pinch my thumb here, turn it, hold it down here with this finger, put the hook in down ways, grab the yarn, pull it through, twist my hook up, and you're ready to go. I hold it here, find my small tail there, grab my yarn, Put it in my hand like I'm going to crochet and then I just want to chain one to secure it. Now again you can find the magic loop circle magic loop circle or ring video that I did if you want to do it more in detail or just pause and rewind. So to start the pattern you want to do seven single crochets in your ring. So I'm going to start with one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So in order to tighten up your magic ring, you have your tail here. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of here because that doesn't matter. Pinch it here and then just pull this tight to close up my circle. And now this is where your stitch marker comes in handy. I do use a bobby pin, a mini one, for my stitch marker. You can use what feels most comfortable for you. I just find that the bobby pin is a lot more quicker to use. From here, you just want to put two half double crochets in each stitch around. I'm going to start with the very first stitch, which is right here. And I am going to put two half double crochets in that stitch. Here's one. I will now use my stitch marker right here. I'm going to stick it in the very first stitch. And then I'm going to work one more half double crochet in that same stitch. I am working around my tail so that way I don't have to tuck it in later. You do not have to work around it, it's just a whole lot easier. If you see that there's a hole here, you can continue to pull the shorter tail to tighten that up as you work around this row or round. Two more half double crochets in the next stitch. There's one, two. And you just want to repeat that around in every stitch. So one. Again, my hole is opening up, so I'm just going to pull it tight again and close it up. And then just continue to work around my tail with two more in the next stitch. There's one and two. And then again, just continue. I have three stitches to go. One. 
two, one, two, one, two. And now you're back at the beginning of your stitch marker. Again, if at any time I am going too fast for you, please feel free to pause the video, rewind as much as needed. Now for the next row, you're going to put one half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochets in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochets in the next stitch, and repeat that all the way around. Taking out my stitch marker so I can work my one half double crochet, I am going to replace my stitch marker. Now working two half double crochets in the next stitch. Oops. One half double crochet in the next stitch. Two half double crochets in the next stitch. One half double crochet in the next. And just repeat that around. One and two and then one. So repeat that all the way around till you get to the stitch marker and go ahead and pause the video here. I will meet you at the end. Here I am at the last two stitches. I'm going to put one half double crochet in the next stitch. Continuing to work over my tail. Just about finished doing that. And then in the last stitch, I want to put two half double crochets in the last stitch. There's one and two. And here you are at the beginning where your stitch marker is. Just go ahead and pop that out. Now you want to put one half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then two half double crochets in the next stitch. So here we go with the first stitch. It's going to be one half double crochet. Go ahead and push your stitch marker back in, one more half double crochet in the next stitch, and then two half double crochets in the next stitch. One and two. Repeat that. One half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochets in the next stitch. So here we go with one, one, and then two. Just repeat that all the way around. Pause the video here and I will meet you at the end.